and back like two seconds later. I did that just in case of uh, lost footage, really. This is the second time I've been in this. Uh, well, actually, never mind. Uh, no, I can't go back now. <laughs> second time I've been in this cell. Uh, all of my evidence has been taken from me. Right, are we not talking about are we talking are we talking about Knightley's Knight Knightley's case or are we talking about um, the first game? All of my evidence has been taken from me. The only thing I have left is Kate for the case of the Garasu badge. I'm worried about Kate. Is she alright? Better be. The culprit It's me. I remember looking down. At the person in the red raincoat. Mr. Edgeworth, it was me! The culprit was me all along! <sighs> so, it's such, such, such a hard voice to do, especially when my throat is not raspy. I need to show you. You have a visitor, please ring out. A visitor? Who could it be? Come sure already, or. I'm gonna play the name of Dick Crumshaw. Is there him down? No, it'll be hard to face him down. Right here. <laughs> He's not going to stay and keep watch. He usually does. Not Crumshaw? Yeah. Pardon me. Pardon me. Judge Courtney. Hush. Please have a seat. Why are you here? I was told that the detective had come. If I didn't instruct him to tell you that, you wouldn't be sitting here right now. I can't think of anything she needs from me at this point. I should try to figure out what she wants, indeed. I believe she's been interrogated as we speak. You people, do you have any idea what you're doing? How dare you arrest an innocent person? That's not a very nice thing to say. I would ask that you correct your statement. She's merely someone you want to believe is innocent. Am I wrong? There is no decisive evidence to prove that she's the culprit. There is no evidence to prove her innocence either. In the enough of this, it's pointless. The girl will be judged. There is nothing you can do to stop that. That's all there is to say about that. I wonder how far we're into this case, because I, in a sense I feel like we're less than halfway, but also a lot of a lot has happened. I hope it's a long one. The last one was really long. I wouldn't mind this case being that long. I probably mind less since I'm far more interested in the story of this one. Now, let's get to the real issue at hand. Your visitation rights have been restricted, restrict, restrict, restricted to begin with. As if I'm going to be more. As if I'm some monstrous criminal, I suppose my cred credibility has hit rock bottom. But of course, your friends have fared a little better though. The lawyer and that girl were both quite worked up. Uh, hang on. Are we talking about Ray and uh, Kay or are we talking about Phoenix and Maya? Mr. Shields and Emma. Oh, oh was the, wait, the girl part confused me, Emma. When I last saw them, they were giving one of the gods quite an earful. What? You don't mean? Be grateful, the goddess of love has been quite busy. They were spared punishment. It certainly seems like you have plenty of time for small talk. Oh, yes. Prosecutor Von Karma is presently continuing the investigation. 
You were right about them, right? I guess you saw right through me. Let's, let's go to the trees. Exactly what are you planning? I am not planning anything. There is merely a question that you used to ask. You asking me? Yes, of course. Who else is there? This one ask next very in female right now. It's off putting. She always does this to him. Objectively speaking, you are a clever individual and you have a sharp mind. As a prosecutor, you are highly talented and capable. Are you being ironic? Your sarcasm falls short. I am being completely sincere, and that is why I cannot understand. Take this case for example. You are up against the PIC. There is no chance for you to come out on top. Even a child could understand. And yet, you. Hmm. <laughs> Plus, by your younger self would not have done something so reckless. The me from before had power, that's why I, th I thought justice was on my side. Just like you right now. However, because of a certain man, my self-centered sense of justice was broken down. Ever since then, I began to see people in a different light. I am able to serve as a prosecutor only because of the support of the people around me. People like Detective Gumshu and all the other investigators, and Kay as well. Honestly, even I am surprised at how much I have changed. I see. Is that how it is? I've come to understand you a little more. You understand me? Not likely. Someone like you, who forces her own sense of justice onto others, can could never understand. I wonder about that. Is that what you think? If I could say one thing... Okay, wholesome music, by the way. Um, it'll be that this conversation has been very interesting. That is all. That's a very interesting to say. <laughs> Our conversation is coming to an end, however. I have one last thing to tell you. Oh, there's a comma there. The date of your hearing has been set. I came here today to inform you. Today, in the PRC meeting room. May you humbly accept your fate. If that's all you wanted to say, couldn't you have just sent a messenger? The holy words of the goddess of law simply cannot be entrusted to others. With that, Mr. Edgeworth, I bid you farewell. I shall be seeing you again later. Definitely very curious as to where this case is going. I know I'm not talking too much, maybe because I just don't have that much to say. If that makes any <laughs> sense. Are, are we moving? Okay, we're moving. Uh, interesting. There's a lot of interesting points, but I'm not going really to mention to connect any of them right now. Oh, this is curious. There's a poster hanging in the hallway. The dice and slice game. Roll the dice and decide your daily menu. The dice and slice game has been cancelled due to the war warden's arrest. We sincerely apologize to everyone who was looking forward to it. There's no need to apologize for cancelling such a silly game. I mustn't neglect my personal appearance just because I'm in a holding cell. Prosecutor or not, this is my personal duty, is it? Mm, my color is slightly bent. There, a well groomed appearance reflects a well groomed mind. I'm almost surprised that he, he didn't start a staring contest. From here on, I need to focus my want to focus myself more than ever. I like how the table is chained to the to the floor. Only half, though. 
It's a simple bed. I don't expect it to be very comfortable to sleep on. If his first detective comes you, he would probably snore loudly while sleeping like a, like a log. I may, I may never get ch a chance to work with him again. However, this is the path that I chose. I want to regret it. There are thick bars placed sec securely on the window. That reminds me, I watched a movie that had iron bars just like these. It was about the plan to escape a prison by filing down the iron bars. The most cliché of all the methods. Of course, I wouldn't do such a thing. I don't even have a file. No, even if I had one, I still wouldn't do it. There's a poster on that wall next to the toilet. We are currently out of toilet paper. Please be pre prepared if you wish to use the toilet. What does it mean by be prepared? There's a tiny menu sitting on the desk. It seems I can get food delivered if I pay for it. Let's see. Moldy white bread lunch set. What the fuck? Swi switch to moldy wall of wheat bread for an extra dollar. Oatmeal and quits at the meal. For limited time, get extra cool. Cool for an, no, at, at no additional cost. Thank you, that's I'm not hungry right now. That's just a very inhumane condition. Another visitor. It's Blaze. And Kay, apparently, is on both left. Kay! Ah! Uh, it, it seems you are right. I'm relieved. For now. No, oh, this is kind of touching. <laughs> You look a little down, okay? Please, cheer up. It's just a motherfucker who never smiles. Unless they're being cocky. You didn't do anything wrong, I guarantee it. Please, just accept it. I am a murderer. But that's not true. Why don't you believe in yourself? Won't you? What should I believe in? I mean, there's nothing. There's nothing to believe in? That's not true. Before you lost your memories, you, lit you literally jumped into my life. Literally, yes. As a result, your words and actions have become ingrained in my memories. That's the mark you left behind. How can you call that? Nothing. I believe in you. I, belie I believe in your innocence. That's why you must believe in yourself as well. Good words. Thank you. But it's no use. Look at all the misfortune I've brought upon you. If you can, please forget it all. Your memories of K Faraday. K. You know, this takes me back. In my youth, I was, t I too was a gallant. The fuck's a gallant? Is this the kind of justice the PIC seeks? Let me look up what the gallant is. I have a thing for the keyboard. Gallant. Definition. Oh boy, that's slow starting. <laughs> you think? Right. Hmm. Does this all? I wonder. This man, what is he planning? You know, his breakdown is probably going to be him accidentally setting his beard on fire. I'm calling it right now. Seems. I should have been able to call this earlier. There's a very, very low chance that that's not what happens. There's good. That or he has a fake beard and he's gonna burn it at some point. By accident. <laughs> but no, his breakdown is very likely him burning his beard. This man, what, what is he planning? Why is he pu putting things forward so forcefully? It all seems too unnatural. Is there a hidden agenda? There's no time left. It's all or nothing now. Well then, I must take my leave. Hold it! Oh. No matter how long you look at it, the case arrest was unnatural. There must be something behind it. Oh my. Two horses, a uh, rook and a uh, queen? King? I, I, I can't, can't tell. Hey, hey, I'm a pissing man, you know. <laughs> I'm kind of mixed early, you see. I trust this won't take off too much of my time. In order to make make it out of the situation, I must break through his defenses. That, 
yeah, there's, he's probably is gonna be the first in the red rain coat, just because um, his figure is really, really slim, almost feminine, the slim, like one of the like head to shoulder ratio is a big part of whether some how masculine or feminine someone looks. Um, and despite how masculine they try to make his head and you know, but the fact that they give him a uh, very visible muscle chest muscles there, um, they gave me a, gave me gave him a very slim feminine figure despite all that. It's not somebody really feeding a lot. It's not. It, it's a very unusual decision, um, and it's probably to make his body type also fit with the red raincoat, because we have right now we have the idea that it was the victim, a woman who was wearing the red raincoat, but if he was the one wearing it, then I mean his body type would have to match <laughs> in order for that to work. Right, like who, of all the possible suspects for the red raincoat, they would they all would have to have roughly the same shoulder width. You know, to make it out of this situation, I must break to his defenses. So you know, we don't have the look at me <laughs> problem where <laughs> his nose would not fit underneath that mask. There are plenty of things I want to ask, but my time is limited. First, I'll ask about why he rushed the arrest. I have no intention of letting him push me around. I will overcome this difficult decision situation. Why did you rush your arrest? I would like a clear, like a clear explanation. Oh no. No. Explanation? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me. You clearly did not follow the proper procedures. Okay, okay. Maybe shut my down a bit. Do you even know the position you're in? Suppose we let the criminal expedite. What do you think will happen? What will happen? Help me. I will be made to take responsibility, you see. I do hope you understand. Just take my advice and stay out of this if you know what's good for you. I refuse. K is innocent. You know, this is so pitiful. <laughs> it brings me to tears. Why won't you just give up? Things were finally going well. <laughs> Things were going well, you say? That's a strange way to put it. It almost sounds as if you personally wanted K to be arrested. Far more than necessary. Haven't you lo lost your impartiality? Hmm, you think so? That certainly wasn't my intention, you see. It's about my boy. You're reading too much into it. He skillfully avoided the issue. However, I still have some serious doubts about case arrest. Next, I shall ask him if, he, if the investigation was, in was sufficient. I barely lost time on that one, but it's only the first one. I can't miss even the tiniest piece of information. That's the only way to break through this situation. It's hard to say that the investigation was, in was sufficient. The arrest? Was it under your authority? <laughs> ah, too many hands. Too few hands, too many things.
that important. The Prosecutorial Investigation Committee is the chairman. It's quite a prominent title. Not that I care much for it. That, that was rather blunt. <laughs> I'm so shocked I could cry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Flattery was never my forte. <laughs> if you keep talking like that towards me. <laughs> You'll never get your own prosecutor's badge back, you know. Steady. Huh? So you're going silent. Does it mean, does this mean I can go now? Oops, this. I have no intention of letting push me around, but I will overcome this difficult situation. Let me make this clear right now. I do, I do not leave for the sake of my badge. Status means nothing to me, do you understand? Do you understand? Young, so young. Let me teach you something as, as your senior in life. What you're saying right now? It's far from naive, you see. It's far too naive, you see. The look in his eye has changed. He might respond differently but to some of my questions now. Oh? This is my chance. How much time was spent on, on the investigation? Mm, well, well, aren't you impar an impertinent one? Un Even someone like me is starting to get annoyed. What a coincidence, I feel the same way. Answer me, was the investigation sufficient? Young poor, young poor folk has lived life in the past lane. That's why I like to bully, bully them. You'll regret this soon enough. What are these questions? Haven't you real? Uh, yeah. What are these questions for now? Usual tell when you're supposed to wait. I, mm. It's a really weird set of questions. Mm. You should work quiet. Are you scared? <laughs> Ridiculous. I was just thinking about my next strategy. On how to extract information from a poor, from a weepy old man. This is just a remorse, you know. Don't you get it? I hold your fate in my hands. He says, burning a thing in his hands. In any case, even if you obtain some information, there is nothing you can do. Just give up already. I refuse. Mind if I ask why? It's simple, the truth is fading away. That's all there is to it. I see. I'm starting to understand what kind of person you are. No, but you know, it's all useless. His voice is approaching to is approaching a, a ray too much. But you know, it's useless. It's enough to make me, make me cry. <laughs> G give it up. That girl's killed, has already been. They decided. Decided. That's strange. The way you said that, it almost sounded like it was decided from the very beginning. What are you trying to say? Yes, it's clearly unnatural. Everything is progressing as if, as if Kay's guild was predetermined. 
wasn't wasn't Kyrie's wrist planned from the start? I oh, see. That's an interesting theory. But I don't, I don't have the time to indulge in your flights of fancy now. Why don't we, we put an end to this silly conversation? Kyrie says he's trying to get away. What's this new music? Is this the Allegro farm? Before that, I must find out if our rest was lawful. This is very pain, but I'm beginning to see the path to the truth. I can't let this opportunity slip by. Please wait, there is still something I want to ask you. I am confirmed. I'm from very good. What? Oh, I'll Tata. I, 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 how did you point out this again? Tata, maybe? Please keep it short, okay? If I put, if I put together what you have told me up until now, I cannot help but say that there is no base for case arrest. Yes, yes, I understand, I understand, you see. But you know, it doesn't really matter either way. You can't overturn your arrest. How we are responsible? Do you think you still claim to be a man of the law? My, my, those are some harsh words, you know. Hmm. I know, you know, you're starting to make me, make me a little angry. You see, to be honest, I really can't answer all of your questions, you know. That's just the position I'm in, you'll see. I'm a busy man, you know. You're starting to say why a lot. I'm just pretending to be busy. That, that, that's cool, you know. <laughs> this whole chunk of coal has been working like a dog. Pretending. Just what do you think you that would accomplish? You don't want to talk about the case. Isn't that why you're trying to get away from this place? Okay, now this chest has become quite interesting. I feel like this... I mean, unless this is a really long one, I feel like this one is getting really way too much time right now. Oh, sad. Yes, how sad indeed. You really suspect a little of me. <laughs> I do suspect you, and I'm confident about it. There was clearly no basis for case arrest. Why, why, have you forgotten? Was it, was it there evidence? The mask, the leather, and the coral was sought. They were all running the girl's position. The mask was never brought up. He was, so it was clearly set up. Not to mention she even confessed. All this serves to prove her crime. That's... But we know that the, the, one of the, the twelve, at this month, there was one mask that was not present. There was, there was also not out of case. Any objections? This is a real one. You see, you have no response. It's true, I have no objections. Although, there is one point that bothers me. This man seems awfully familiar with the evidence, indeed. To remember everything, without missing... Like, both of those were objections, so, but surely both of them are correct. That intrigues me. This could be a useful clue. Okay, he's not the culprit. Oh my, that's a rather bold claim, you know. Anyone can sort of check since at the top of their lungs, you see. M Mr. Farmer, but that's your prosecutor. Ah. It's no use, I don't have enough information. My chance will come sooner or later. And when it does, I mustn't let it slip by. Who was it? Who was it? Who who was the one who made that decision to arrest her? Mm, well, I can't say I remember. Growing old is a terrible thing, you see. My memory is not what it used to be, you know? But your memory evidence. Perhaps you should uh, reduce that clown. <laughs> Don't play dumb with me. Didn't you remember all of the evidence in full detail just now? Stop pretending to be a forgetful man when things aren't going your way. 
Now then, who was it? Who was the one who made the other decision, decision to arrest her? I see. You're a sharp one, aren't you? You know, I wish my son could learn from you. Because he's a real idiot. <laughs> I'm not I'm not interested in your son. Who made the decision for the arrest? You're sure a bad man, you know. <laughs> Don't you already know? The one who wanted to arrest. <laughs> So you go silent. Doesn't mean I can go now. Upstairs. Bad, 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 bad call. What did I say about having some enough time? Person right in front of me. I'm certain of it. Ouch. Sure, make it sound like I committed some kind of injustice. Guess I'll have to clean that up. Clean that up. My honor is at stake, you see. Very well, I'll continue to play along with you. Until you are satisfied. What is most crucial here is. How much this man knows about this case. If I can't get him to reveal that. It's do or die. If I can overcome this, I'll reach the truth. What does this mean? The suspect, Ricardin came. How much do you know about her? She's the suspect, she's the suspect in this case. That's all I know, you see. Scouts on her. I don't have enough clues to proceed with this kind of questioning. Maybe it's a twin in line of attack. You seem to be pretty familiar with the case. I'm a wise man, you know. I'm familiar with most things, you see. I don't think it was very wise of you to ask Kay in this case. I'm very, I'm a very busy man. I can then, I can end this conversation anytime I want, you know. Don't you forget about that. This would have already been over if you had simply answered my questions. If you, if you give me a proper answer, I won't take any more of this your time. I will ask you once again, why are you so familiar with this case? I read the case for you see. Honestly, it was quite a drag. You know, but it's my job, so what could I do? It seems, I'm guessing that uh, his geeking Japanese was that he talked in a really... He talked in a... Uh, uh, really, not impolite, but really in, in a formal fashion, and possibly even in a possibly, possibly even in a younger slang. Because translators are choosing to use words like you know, you see, drag, and whatnot. It's very interesting coming from what your sixty three you see. The character is certainly interesting, the character design and his mannerisms. Who knows about his story though? Because of my position, you see, I can just keep out, keep out on it. <laughs> well, I had some time to kill. So I had the whole thing, you see. That's strange, didn't you just say you were very busy? Aren't your faults slowly coming to light now? If you truly wish to protect your position, you would advise you. I would advise you to resign the arrest order. You, you really are a desperate, you know. <laughs> but never, never say die until you. It touches my heart. <laughs> but you know, it's unfortunate that all your hard work was for naught. <laughs> because we discovered your unconscious body near the crime scene, as you see. This is the first time I heard of Kane's condition when she was found. Supposedly the nurse, the nurse supposedly just found her wandering around. 
Lucy was unconscious in the store room. That's right. There's also that information is classified though. Let me put the milk away. This man wants things even I don't know. Does he know the whole story behind this case? This could be a useful clue. I'm not sure this is enough for this. I don't know the whole story. Something you've said feels out of place. You know about things that the crime scene investigation never revealed. Why is that? Just how much of the truth do you know? <laughs> You're making that forceful face again. You know, it's got some kind of face to be able to do the same. Like this! <laughs> you, really are, you really are persistent, but you know. But I can't I, but I can admire that, you see. I will take this as, as a compliment. Can't you give it a rest already? At my age, my body's not as strong as it once was, you know. <laughs> There's no, there's no one else who could beat the gold besides her. She was even giving me that much evidence to show that she committed the crime. Motherfucker, you... He sleeps more than... Oh, the goodness sakes. Oh, come on now! She was given evidence, you say? That's an odd choice of words. It almost like, sounds as if she did not possess them under her own will. I see. You really do have a fine eye for the details. As expected of a former protege prosecutor. You've already found your answer, haven't you? I'm listening, so go ahead and say it. There's no need to hold back. I finally found so the, he the heavy door to the truth. Now, all that remains is to strike the final blow. Kay is not the culprit. I'm worried. That's a rather bold claim, you know. And if I can sort of objections to about their lungs, you see. I still try to do this without with that clue. Kay was framed. The true culprit is pinning the blame on her. That is my answer. Oh, there's, there's the beard. <laughs> but he put it out <laughs> with his tears. <laughs> Everything about that animation was pretty great. <laughs> That's just your clever one. It's almost making me feel bad for the, that particular's bad was taken away, you know. Yes, it's as you say. Checkmate. He arrested Kay, even when you knew of the existence of the true culprit. Don't toy with me, there is no way such an act would be tolerated. You sure are green, you know. That's what the prosecutor is supposed to do. It will all work out fine. If we, if we make her guilty. Who would desire such a resolution? If I had to say, maybe the PIC. And also, maybe me, you know. <laughs> when I heard your words just now, I could barely hold back my tears, you know. It was just so splendid, you see. And it burns me up inside. I'm not the most perfect bit of work, you know. So I can't forgive so I can't forgive you such usefulness. You say the truth is important, but you know once you know the real value of truth, the truth holds. I wonder if you can say the same thing. What are you trying to say? When you get to where I am, you just you can just create your own truths anytime you want. Kay Faraday is the culprit. That was the truth that I simply manufactured out of thin air. <sighs> Very good. That face, that expression. You were such a desperate one, you see. That's why I really wanted to believe you, you know. You see, even if you know the truth, there is simply nothing you can do. And that's a real idea of truth. So shocking that is the time for you know. 
Oh, I want you to pursue the truth, to pursue the true, true culprit. How much of the truth do, truth do you know? Do you understand now? The truth that you believe in is worthless, you see. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Powerless former prosecutor. You. Ooh, scary, scary. You know, I guess the friends of heinous criminals are also quite heinous themselves. Place. You. <laughs> I didn't know to ask you as it worth. And like this, you see, one more person will disappear before me. Oh, here comes the weatherworks. <laughs> yes, there's a mind just wants to talk, you know. And <laughs> yeah, he's gone. Everything will be decided in today's deliberation. Right, is the next day then? Case innocence? Oh, right, then never mind. Yeah, I will definitely prove it. Will there be people other than the BRC here? Oh my! Will there be people other than the BRC here? Well, the seats is empty. I guess that's the victims. Okay, seriously, how, a lot of them are fat. At least one of them. How, how do they shuffle into there? The members are present. The courtroom has met. Has been met. The victim would be missing, and uh, uh, maybe Justin Courtney, because I don't see her right now. From here on out, let the concert begin. Today's deliberation shall be about Miles Edwards' aptitude and ability as a prosecutor. Let our members discuss this matter with clear conscience of the goddess of law. A clear conscience? Don't make me laugh. Courtney, please give us your report. Oh. On April 5th, Prosecutor Edwards carried out an illegal investigation and resisted arrest. He was arrested by two of our members who caught him in the act. Myself and Blaze the Best. Prosecutor Hesmer disrupted the investigation of an of attorney Jill Crane's, mur Crane's murder. He claims that the culprit, Kay Faraday, was arrested without sufficient evidence. Even now, he claims his claims remain unchanged. Tell us more about the murder incident. So how many of these motherfuckers are corrupt? Courtney seems very much so, but who knows, maybe there's gonna be some plot with, with her, since right from the first seconds of her showing up, she seemed evil. Like too obvious to evil even. To be, said, to, to be fair, the same can be said for Bless, but thanks, but Courtney's been through multiple cases. Courtney's been here for two more cases than Blaze, so in a sense, that implies that, that Courtney is more important to the story than Blaze, since they chose to have Courtney appear to create cases prior, not Blaze. On April 5th, the victim's body was found here in the PIC meeting room. Regarding the details... Ah, that's the best, the best, the best prosecutor, well, and letting you The prosecutor in charge, Sebastian the best, will explain the rest of the details. The murder happened on the night of April 5th, April 4th. The victim was one Jill Crane. I always find that the expression with one Jill Crane. What in the bloody fool falls work? On the same night, a black market auction was been held in this very mating room. So there you are, now try to say it. Oh, we see multiple candles there. So they claim that there were multiple candles there, and the candle lapras. I guess, I guess Miss Crime was taking part in the auction. Yep. The murder occurred in the middle of the auction. Did not. When Miss Crime was Miss Crime was found, she was dressed like the conductor of the auction. However, based on the fact that the auction continued after the murder occurred, good chance that Blaze was the one who was dressed like it originally, of course. Maybe, maybe not. The Malakat. I deduce that Miss Crane could not have been the conductor. You. You weren't the one who made that deduction. Sebastian, he's so evident the base of the wrist of the culprit. Yeah, 
got it just then. Can I find that fast? I'm not a bad word with a good conscience. I believe you mean, you mean in her guilty conscience. Yeah, I was a guilty conscience that drove her to confess the crime. Going into her confession on the roof of this building. She made a figure in a red raincoat on the field perform. So Crane was wearing so Green was wearing a red raincoat? Yes, that's correct. The culprit was used the conductor's ghost as a red herring to mislead us. At the time of the murder, Miss Green was wearing a red raincoat. See, that definitely matches with uh, Lisa's outfit. Also, we can see something that's either a tiny bit of the chin or a beard. Actually, no, 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 that's the, that's the ball, wall behind them. Never mind. That's the wall. <laughs> uh, never mind that. His beard would be shown, he can't hide that. Ah, let's be going for another look at me. It was an eye who discovered the record near the building. He did. I'm sure it was the forensic team who found it. To be more precise, it was the forensic team under Sebastian's orders who discovered it. I thought as much. <laughs> According to the plot analysis, the person in the water went out and was and by the same person. So that's decisive evidence the culprit's own confession. She testified that she killed her. That's right, the culprit escaped, but it couldn't have been anyone else but her. Well done, Mr. Ford. If you have any, if you have any, any objections, let's hear them. I have no objections. I see, I see. It all seems to me. It seems all the fights have gone out of here. I will. I have no objections to your claim that I investigated illegally. I admit to that. However, I object to the claim that K is the clock culprit. I will testify that Sebastian's investigation was fair and just. <laughs> of course it was just then. Honestly, like I had a theory that the press would. And possibly have uh, to not actually be smarter than he looks. Now, considering his position in the story, I'm gonna bet that he almost ended up turning it out to be an ally at some point. Possibly a dumb one, but it's possible that he'll end up betraying the PS or his father or something. Because no matter what, his character arc will have to pop up somehow. And he. The, with, it'll have to be either with him. It's gonna either have to be the plot twist about him not being that dumb with it, or, dumb or something, or him be, becoming an ally in some way. Or a victim in some way, but I don't think he would, he would, he would be killed though, so. Yeah, it, it was a possible hostage as well. Hostage, 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 hostage situation is possible as well. Oh, gosh, it was just then. Don't you know that I'm the best of them all? <laughs> The fairest of them all. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Hey, of course, my boy. And despite, despite how things may seem, I actually kind of like you. If, and this is just an if, you see, if you were to withdraw your objection, we might be sitting on this side of the bench for tomorrow. Side of the bench or so in the PRC, you say. I'll ask you one more time, Do you have any objections? Don't take me for a fool. I'd advise to watch what you say. This man is the one who should watch what he's saying. I'm talking about the case, not about the chair. I demand a testimony. By all means, let me hear it. I want to know how the PRC understands this case. Testimony from us, eh? I know if that's what it takes to make you happy. Forty, give me the materials from the investigation. Sir, but that's... Oh, they are disagreeing for once. It's the end of the lunch room. I'll let him go in the place of glory. If you insist, Mr. Chairman. Why well, don't we have a... Can't you give the... Give the testimony? I have no objections. M Mr. Edgeworth. Don't worry, okay? Just watch from over there. Market auction as a customer. The red crane coat was one of the items up for auction. 
probably believe that she left her seat after winning the pit fight. The only exit from the storm is the hatch that leads, that leads to the viewing platform. Right, I, I, I could not parse that in the small moment. Miss Great went out to the for you platform where she was attacked by Kay Faraday. That was how she met her end, and that concludes my summary of the case. And the red raincoat was up for auction, is that a fact? So on a price tag price, it is quite likely. The red raincoat had been a piece of evidence. In the assassination attempt on the president of President of Seng Fa, as you well know, I figured, originally it should have been stored in an, in an appropriate place. But when I asked about it, I learned that it went missing. And it somehow made its way to the black market auction. Certainly a natural conclusion. Well, my well done, Courtney. Your explanation is as clear as ever. I am much obliged. Prosecutor Edgeworth, will you concede defeat now? <laughs> Sorry, but I don't plan on it. I see. I am relieved. Relieved? What does she mean? Come to think of it, her reason, f reason for questioning me yesterday remains a mystery. What did she question you of? Just what is she thinking? Alright, oh, right, right. Okay, she came to the attention center. Why well, sure character as well? Also, all, almost the same logic that I had with the best like, record, mini cards with regards to her, except that she's not gonna have plot twist, but she turns out to be smart. <laughs> Miss Crane went to the black market auction as a customer. So, you're saying that a member of the PSC was involved in an illicit in illicit dealings? Regarding that, I I have a no response. He's right now. After this hearing so, we're going to have to clean up our act. A splendid decision, Mr. Chairman. Oh no, it's only natural, you see. There's no need to flatter me enough. But you know, that, that has nothing to do with you. You at all, it's worth. I guess by then, you wouldn't even be a pussy good anymore, see. <laughs> oh, now that the strip of business has been cleared up. Yes, sir, I will continue. The red raincoat was one of the items up for auction. <laughs> so, the red raincoat was also up for auction. Yes, it had belonged to Sally the Killer. Based on the simple circumstances, we must consider that it was in a, when I didn't pour you see. And that was, that was what he wore when he targeted the prison that took them far. You should have figured that's worth coming now. There was a mannequin that was positioned unnaturally amongst the auction goods. That may have been where the red raycon had been on display. Do you know how the goods were proceed, procured? We are currently investigating it. But it's, it's none of your concern, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Soon you will be nothing more than an ordinary individual, and then you will be finished. It seems that the results of this deliberation have already been decided. Enough about me, please continue your testimony. Since the raincoat had been up for auction, we believe that she left her seat after winning the bid for it. Why would the victim immediately leave her seat? That had to do with how the auction was conducted. It seems that after the winning bit, the winner was required to pay for the item immediately. And that matches up with Miss Hart's testimony. That would mean that only one person came to buy something though, maybe. We believe that Miss Crane paid her bit for the raincoat. And then immediately tried to leave the auction. The only exit from the storm room is the hatch that leads to the viewing platform. The victim was a PIC member. Couldn't she have also just left from the meeting room? If she had done so during the auction, 
Any text extends for that being revealed to the public. So it's just hard to know about it, it seems that the card is already out of the bag. The customers require very quiet to enter and exit from the hatch. Miss Queen was simply following for the call. Considering where the murder took place, he must have tried to leave through there. Miss Queen went out, went out to the viewing platform where she was attacked by Kay Faraday. Oh. Why would Kay do such a thing? We intend to question her about that later. Later, that seems to be your favorite time for interrogations. If the god put us away, I'll take a that the customers were required to exit from the hatch. It would have been easy, but he should lie, lie in wait for an ambush. Miss Queen was attacked when she was leaving the hatch. That was how she met her end, and that concludes my summary of the case. Met her end? What do you mean by that? She passed away, or to be more precise, she was murdered. And the candle lava was the one was one of the items in the auction. Therefore Kay should not, Kay should not have been able to get to her hands on it. Good one. If she was able to line wait for that attack, she must have known about the storeroom. If she was needed in the storeroom during the auction, she could have obtained it. Oh if you only had some major dollar for sure, I found candle up for still doing the auction, you know. How about it? Hmm, there is no such evidence. My apologies. We hope to find that evidence soon. That's worse. It's too bad, you know. I shame you won't be able to use this line of attack. The victim in conjunct the culprit don't talk about the roof and the crime. What could there? According to her reasoning, the murder took place at the viewing platform. But was that really the case? Some pieces of evidence must tell the whole story behind it. I should try looking again. Could you take a look at this piece of evidence? I'm seeing that that's where the blood was, so that's where the murder went, you know. I'm afraid I cannot accept that piece of evidence. I do not believe it has any relation to my testimony. I do believe it has, but... As I expect, that is not like Sebastian. We were established that established a while ago. However, I went back down so easily. But we're... Maybe that's a relic of a um, testimony. Maybe she was originally going to be only in this case. Let's start with this case forward, maybe. Do we know whose plot that is? The hood, they say the hood specifically. What's with the white things? Oh, they're the pedals, right? That's to be the case, thing of a bob. Well, that's just her testimony. I don't think we'll use that. Oh, I don't think I've ever looked this one and this one close up. I don't let us look at some things like this. The prongs of the candelabra are covered in blood. And the same people matches up with the victim's wounds. Is this the murder of one of these guys? They've never confirmed it without the scene. This is a rare shape for a pedestal. If the spot where he was put on still has this mark, then it will become apparent whether or not it has been placed there. Last night and midnight. Hmm. 
burn mark. Well, we have somebody with fine bones, but hmm. How oh, did the candle up end up in here then? Hmm. That's not enough currently. This was placed in. This was placed in their post mortem. Or post stab in the very least. And it implicates K. Why would K place it there, there himself? But that's not what she's arguing right now. The exact same thing. Very argue that the attack happened in the storeroom, not up there. I feel like the blood is more concrete than the, her, her testimony was true. Just Courtney, I, I have found it to be, to be strange for a while now. Why is Miss Hart here with us? She's an eyewitness to this case. It's only, isn't it only natural for her to be in attendance? Ah, oh, sucks. <laughs> I reckon I'm more of an ear witness than an eye witness. Huh. It seems that gaining the trust of others isn't your strong point, Judge Courtney. Perhaps I simply do not wish to be as tactless as you. Tactless as you. It appears, it appears that you have failed to get the witness. Witness will tell you the most vital information. Please take a look at this photo. It was taken by Miss Hart. This photo seems to have been taken in the storeroom. And what of it? According to your reasoning, the incident took place on the viewing platform. However, missing Hart encountered the incident in a storeroom. Well, that's right. It had taken place just before the photo was taken. Ma, mine. If, if that's the wrong, then trust this reasoning. Okay, so they never found out what pulled out knew. Exactly. It does not hold up. <laughs> Miss Hart, allow me to ask you again. You saw the person in the photo with your own eyes, correct? I saw it in. I seen a plane as day with my two own eyes, own two eyes. And what did you think at the time? I think I'm about to, about to get me a big, I'm about to get me a big scoop, you know? I guess that makes sense. Uh -huh, that's not what I meant. What did you think of that person? Ah, uh, well, I uh, reckon she, she tell me bring, bring home the bacon. What do you think she... Oh, you're mocking me. Ah, Shaq, stop making that scary old face. Oh, it's just a hammered little joke. But in the red record, ah, I can't with the culprit. Oh, I hope you understand now. The crime occurred. Put in the. Why get your head first? I cannot understand the, your argument if you say. if you do not say it out loud. If you had simply asked, it would be more. I would be more than willing to explain. Explain what? The sounds Miss Hart heard were not necessarily related to the case. Objection! Okay, now we use the blood. That is impossible. Enough of your excuses. Was, was the voice that Miss Hart heard really that of Miss Crane? That's a sad conversation. Must have had something to do with the case. Shady. What did her voice sound like? Uh, her voice? Well, it beats me. I want side spots now. They're both using voice changers. Yes, the voice Miss Hart heard had been altered by a device. We must therefore question whether or not they have any bearing on this case. <laughs> you, you 
you, you need you need to object just because you wish to sign. What? You need not to object just because you wish to sign. Sign not sign. Judge Courtney, it seems I have greatly overestimated you. Oh no, that is quite amazing, you see. You claim that the sounds Miss Hartwell have no bearing on this case. Even if, they, if, they, even if they do not, it doesn't seem to make the crime to place in the storeroom. At the very least, the crime must have occurred before the victim went up, went up to the rooftop. The reason being... The blood. This evidence proves the, victim occurs be the crime occurred before the victim went up to, to the viewing platform. Take that! At first, I thought the person in the red raincoat was the culprit. Well... Miss Hart's testament certainly made it sound like that way. Precisely, it was because she saw that person's hand was covered in blood. Anyone who'd heard her testament would have arrived at the same conclusion. The person in the red raincoat was the culprit, and the blood on their hand was the victim's. However, if the person in the red raincoat was the victim, then the situation changes completely. Since blood can't be seen in this photo, it must have been taken after the crime occurred. It seems that maybe in the point under the wrong impression in regards to the victim's condition. The victim was definitely attacked in the storm room. Immediately afterwards, the victim was seen with blood on her hands. That must mean the victim was still alive even after she was attacked. The blood on her hand must have come from her own wound. No way! <laughs> I'll stand up to die from a hand injury? No, that is not the case. I suspect she just held, held her hand, hand against the wound. It can't be seen in the photo, but at this moment, she must have already suffered a fatal wound. Oh, is that true? If that's true, then there's a lot of things, you know. It seems you understand. The police reviewed the allegations against Kane. Kane encountered the victim after this place of picture was taken. I believe that at that point in time, the victim was already on the verge of death. It's like the case just happened to be present when the victim reached the end of her strength. That is quite a coincidence. Indeed, I can only say that she was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Persecutor Edgeworth, it seems you have forgotten, about, forgotten the crucial fact. Oh, you mean that's right. He must be pretended that he doesn't notice it, you see. The mask. The flower, but... What did you say? Are you still playing that I forgot something? Oh, I think... Good, I think it's one to one, okay? I think it's about time you gave me that. Gave me last rights. Last rights. Hello, now you're there. Hey, Bob. Just, just that's with me, you know. Just, just that's with me, you know. Don't, I'm here and like, I like that. Why can't I do his voice right now? You know, even though you must say, I'm just so... You're so, so embarrassing. <laughs> I'm not being... I'm not embarrassing. I can do either of the whistle now. I'm sorry, but you're both rather embarrassing. Just... Dan. Yeah, that's what has... Um... Very well. I shall give him this, these last two rights. Was found. There were three wounds in Miss Crane's chest. I'm sure you're well aware what kind of wounds these were, right? Yes, she was stabbed in the heart with the three-pronged candelabra. Is there any person who could have, who could survive such an injury? Please take a closer, close look at an autopsy. Can you still say the same thing after reading it? Well done, just then. What does Mr. Atomoth will? I will offer a rebuttal, of course. If you're saying that it was postmodern. We know the head wood was postmodern, but hmm. The, the autopsy claims that it was the cause of death, that, uh, and that it came from the candelabra, specifically. The auto autopsy claimed that it came from the candelabra, but this is the first time we've actually seen the person who. seen somebody who performs an autopsy, so. That makes the autopsy more suspicious. Because the fact that the person even is a character. What just that? Didn't you just have what's just this the sad? Of course I did. And I still plan to object to it. That's not fair. You're always opposing me at every turn. 
He was never my intention to oppose you. Huh? R really? It's simply not worth my time. Uh, I, I say, so that's how it is. Yep, yep, I thought I'm. I'm. Well, that's, that's enough, you know. <laughs> You're embarrassing your fun, you see. Ah, uh, but they're main pups. When the body was found, there were three wounds in Miss Crane's chest. Three wounds, that sounds rather painful. Indeed. We must punish the culprit accordingly. Uh, I... Okay, do not listen to what she says. Judge Courtney, please continue your reasoning. Very well, she had three wounds. I'm sure you're well aware what kind of wounds these were, right? Why don't you ask Sebastian in why don't you ask Sebastian instead? Of course, Sebastian knows all about it. Ah, uh, me? Yeah, I know everything. He's obviously lying. Sebastian, maybe we should take a sneak peek at the orders from what you know. <laughs> um, let's see here. The fatal bone was got by the candelabra. He pronounced that right. Oh, uh, that's how it was. Ahem, the cause of the wound was just as Sebastian said. Yes, she was stabbed in the heart with a three-pronged candelabra. So the cause of death was a stab to the heart, is that correct? Yes, the candelabra pierced right into her heart. Since this was Dr. Young's medical opinion, it must be the truth. The Gunner's medical opinion follows my own opinion, therefore it's I'm certainly gonna ignore the order of your point. However, I don't ignore my opinion. However, if the cause of death was the stab onto the victim's chest, will it contradict that piece of evidence? And then the. Oh, he's totally ignoring me. Just didn't say something. Yes, I will not allow you to ignore my. Yes, I will not allow you to ignore my reasoning. Forgot the voice is always again. Any person who could survive such an injury. Oh, At the very least, we cannot be certain that she died instantly. Even if she had had a little bit of life left, I doubt she would have held on for long. Um, can people survive after being trapped up in the chest? And some cases, maybe they can. Although, maybe they can't. Ah. So in the end, which one is it? No such human exists. If you think they do, then first. Please take a close, close look at the autopsy report. Can you still say the same thing after reading it? <sighs> Step wounds to left chest with a second lap. Head the wound was supposed to mortem and burst the burn marks on the victim's hand. According to the autopsy report, the stab wounds to the left chest caused the fatality. Correct. The autopsy report itself is the foundation for my reasoning. In other words, I just have to shatter that foundation, right? I don't find that amusing at all. I look forward to seeing you try. Nevertheless, please take a close look, look at the autopsy report before you make your make a rebuttal. Show me that your reason is not just mere conjecture. Very well. Um, Mr. Edgeworth. We'll be fine, Kane. There's nothing for you to worry about. Evidence that the victim was alive after the incident. If I can just find that, Kane will be. Wait, uh, hang on. 
is Judge Courtney on? I thought that Judge Courtney was arguing that they got stabbed in the chest upstairs. Is she arguing that she was stabbed downstairs? Girls? Hang on, what the? Because they only climbed the ladder, what, what it's worth. Let's put that in there, fuck it. Just point the blood on her hand, right? It's surely, surely that's not new information. Surely that's not new information. I'm a bit uncertain about what she's arguing right now. Like, it seems to me that she's arguing that Kay stabbed her with the candelabra up on the roof. But that even before that, she, she was in some type of different. I'm not quite, quite certain what she's claiming about this within the storeroom. I don't think I understand. What's this on Draco then? Where are you saying she was stabbed? Down or above? I need to speak clearly about this. So we're saying that this shouldn't have stabs on it again, no. <laughs> I do it on a different different one. What would it contradict? What am I overlooking here? This better not be another one of those situations that what happened with um, in case three where I think I've tried something, but I haven't. The, the problem was that right there was that I, I always thought I'd always tried, tried what happened there. Stab itself, they're basically, specifically saying that the stab itself from the exterior. It's not 
nothing in this that I can see that's contradictory. They've established how capable they will get it, all that. There's no way that this would count. This here. What am I overlooking here? I'm gonna have to go through the stage but again. I'm, a, I'm gonna have to cut the recording at this rate because this is. nobody wants to see this. Three wounds, that sounds rather painful. Indeed, indeed. You must place a cut to the ring. Yeah, this is yes. Are you saying that she was stabbed? If you're saying that she was stabbed upstairs, what are you saying that the blood downstairs came from? Like now I'm. Uh, if you're saying that she was stabbed downstairs, how are you saying that she would climb the ladder? Yes, less than like, not less than 24 hours ago, but, but uh, 30 hours ago maybe. I don't remember exact time. If there's one expensive thing that I want to get at some point, I know it's a laser hair removal. Huh? No, 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 no. no. I'm kind of pretty sure that it's the tight instantly. Alright, that was the fifth uh, fifth safe match, well, I thought it was already four. present on the first statement. Let me definitely take a oops a daisy, cut them in. Let me take a close look at the old circuit again. Still late last night at midnight. I still not think we know what time the auction took place. If you do, I forgot. Currently, I took the pony on. This is the first time we find that out. I turned like that, so it's gonna be relevant. Head wound was post mortem. I'm not sure how much. Like, <sighs> I'm sure the contradiction isn't just, hey, what if the autopsy is wrong? That's, that's not allowed to be it, to be silly. 
That point to the left chest with a candelabra. Here the wound was post mortem. Yeah. At, this, at this point, I almost just want to prove it for because I, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. <sighs> They're saying that the idea of them having been started by this sort contradicts something. Upstairs. Head into a head injury around us, husband, the pimple, and this. Blood was found in the hood. Yeah, I can. That's the only with the idea that it's been post mortem. Who is she saying that is in the pop photo? I'm, I'm, I'm unclear on that. Is she saying that the she is she saying that the victim was the one who ran the red green card? She's not arguing against that, right? I, I don't remember. What's I quite understand what she's arguing. She said that Kay killed her upstairs in the on the roof with the candelabra. Despite the fact that they had been stuck all downstairs. Already introduced the idea that somebody else should key card. What contradicts to having, having, having died in? Instantly from stab. We will have to be able to show that she performed she performed some type of action after after being hit, being stabbed. That's what we're trying to show. What if she somehow wasn't stabbed at the time? Hang on, the fact that if the murder weapon was pulled. By the time that the picture with the red train coat was was taken, the person at the, 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 the in the very least the picture does not depict the victim at post stab. That's what she's arguing. Thought for a moment that when the when the murder was pulled out, would be able to know. Oh, 
also I'm saving so that I don't have to replay this the same way I had to last time. Last time I had to spend a fucking 30 minutes just to get back to where I was. I didn't think about the fact that you're gonna... Uh, no, 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 it wouldn't have worked out like... Was it? Yeah, it took me 30 minutes to have got this. Something at this point, I'm honestly just. Is the candle upper in the picture? God damn it. Uh, we, can't, we can't see the spot where the candle upper would be. If the candle upper is the thing, it would be over there on the left, but we can't see it. Arguing that Kay stabbed her upstairs. She would also be arguing that Kay stabbed her while she was wearing the raincoat, meaning that the raincoat should have holes, right? Is, is, is that what we're arguing? Objection! Oh, good goodness sake. Okay, so I'm the best. Do you know what this is? I was so unclear on what they were arguing. On where anyone was stabbed. Anyone was stabbed. What are they arguing that happened downstairs? So I'm the best. Do you know what this is? It seems to be a red raincoat. Oh, God, it's Courtney. How much time so fast doing that? The victim, his crane, was wearing, th wearing this earlier. Prosecutor Edgeworth, must I repeat my explanation to you all over again? I suppose it just might come to that, just Courtney. Answer me this. This red raincoat was stained with blood. Do you happen to remember where it's specifically those blood stains were located? Dead. Right. But not the chest. Right, 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 right. The head, one, the head ones will have to be older than the chest that we want. Right, 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 right. I overlooked that one. I overlooked that one. He's gonna know. Of course I do. Wait, 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 that can't be. What does, the, what does this mean? Judge Courtney, were there any other blast names besides the one on the hood? No, we were detected. Don't you think it's strange? The victim d died from a stab on the chest. In that case, there should have been blood stains on the front of the raincoat. However, the only one they found was that they found was on the hood. This is a huge contradiction that I completely missed. The wound at the victim's head is no ordinary wound. After all, the victim sustained this wound before she was tapped into the, in the chest. It does appear that way, doesn't it? The victim first suffered the head wound. If she had already been stabbed in the chest, the rain could, could have been stained with blood. And that puts the autopsy in question. Therefore, it's, it is unthinkable that her chest was that before she suffered the head wound. So the order of the wounds would be first the head, followed by the chest. However, does that really change the situation? With this, a contradiction is born, one that overturns all of our assumptions until now. Is the change really that great? I look forward to hearing it. Are we arguing that the um, stab wounds were postmodern? Well then, this contradiction. Why don't you just show it to me? With the evidence. Which piece of evidence shows the, co the contradiction that arises from the order of the wounds? 
Uh, are we saying that the post more than? Post more than? Surely. This is the old observer report written by Dr. Young. According to this, the head one was post mortem. But that's, but that's not what the raincoat shows. Exactly, it's the exact opposite. Bailiff, hurry and summon Dr. Bonnie Young at once. Until we hear what she has to say, we cannot close the curtains and curtains on this case. Why is she not on her seat? Yes, ma'am, understand. Dr. Young, Dr. Young is a busy person. It will take some time for her to arrive. In the meantime, let us try viewing this case for another angle. There's something that's been on my mind, one of the key figures in this case. The conductor. We still don't know who that person is. Not so much of that, even of time, but there's something else that we still have no idea who it is. The conductor has come up time and time again during the hearing. However, at this point in time, their identity remains a mystery. How about it? Do you have any ideas? I'm still not sure at the moment. However, there is someone I have in mind. A certain individual involved with this case who might know something about it. Blazing is... What's that? Blaze the best. I demand your testimony. What? What says the stupid things? What these suspect pups? Are you trying to cast suspicion towards the chairman of the PIC? Do you understand what that means? Status and prestige mean nothing before the truth. That man is trying to bring the crime on okay. K. Evidence that, that was in case position that stip tickets that tickets stop the mask, the croissants. These items did not come into her possession out of her own volition. By some method, that man purposely planted them on her personets. Personets. It is hard to believe such a sudden accusation. But I'll ask just in case. Why would he do that? Obviously, not to direct suspicion to us, Kane. I suggested, succeeded in trying out those words from him earlier. Mr. Chairman, your response? Are you too shocked, shocked to speak? I what of it? <laughs> Perhaps you didn't hear me, I said. What of it? You say that I drew out some words, just you two. You drew out some words for me, but you don't have a sort of proof, do you know? Again, Phoenix and Edward both need just... Get a fucking tape recorder. Like, something, something that records low-quality audio <laughs> at all times. And stores, stores them just digitally. At all times. Have it, have it done at all times. Whenever they're talking to anyone. Hide it in a fucking boot or something. No one knows. No one else heard it but you. It just doesn't seem to work. Work the deck you see. Or do you have something else? You know, some kind of basis for argument. Like the... Did the prison fucking... No, the prison security cameras don't have audio. You'd think they would. Audio is easier to store than video. And his confidence. He, he also showed it at the sound. Prosecutor Edgeworth. I would like you to explain once more. I trust that we have your permission, Mr. Chairman. But of course, I'm pretty interested in this matter myself, you know. I'd like to know just what part of me seems criminal to its worth. There's no one as honest as I am, you see. As I am, you see. How can you, how can you say that with a straight face? Let's start from the top. The fact that the auction was held in this courtroom is cause for suspicion. This is the PIC meeting room. I imagine it'd be difficult for non-members to enter. That's my other members have kick cards you now. I think we can assume that multiple auctions have been held here before. Therefore, suspecting the member of the POC would be... The best. Ye ye yes, because the conductor had to have been a POC member. Wait, no! What, what was that about? What, what did I do, Pop? Just, I just helped the enemy. <laughs> Sebastian really is an idiot, you know. But you see, it's worth. I'm not the only one in Texas, you know. 
Indeed, there are 11 members in the VIC. Even if we rule out the victim, this is this going. Hmm, 11, huh? Could be that everyone in auction was the VIC member. If that's the case, then there's about a 0% chance of uh, this ruling turning out well for us. <laughs> it's interesting though. It's just probably to match this match to one proceed, maybe. Even if we ruled out the victim, Miss Crane, there are still 10 potential suspects. Yeah, this would cause commotion. Certainly could cause divide among them. It's not, it's not me. But, but it didn't, it's gonna be chairman, right? I don't know who it is, but who it is. So just come forward. Yes, yes, everyone, just calm down, you know. At first, is that all you got? Or is the evidence to suspect me? Oh, so you've fallen silent. But you've gone too far, you see. I won't forgive you anymore. It's too late for regrets, you know. I'm a very important man, you see. Former chief prosecutor and chairman of the PIC. <sighs> It's fine if I'm not prepared to face the fire, you know. Cause you see... Either way, it won't make any difference. Hey, that's like a tight. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna bully you, I like that name. Much better than someone's destiny part 2. You've been rambling on for quite a while about how the, mo about the most trivial terrain. Trivial details, you know. Most trivial. Like the location of the murder, the order to wound, and. Hmm, what else was there? It just doesn't seem to matter, you know. Because you see, oh, it doesn't make anything, you know. Think about it. We've got the suspect here. I still think she killed the victim. That's all that matters in the scene. She's not even got a lighter sentence with her confession, you know. Now then, if there are any contradictions, be my guest. I believe that in Finland, um, confessing to a crime doesn't lower the sentence at all. That's not a that's not a confession. Th that confession is not a low lowering factor. I could be wrong though. I'm gonna be considering the testimony. There must be a contradiction somewhere. Well, it's not. It's not. It's not a guaranteed um, lowering factor. In Finland, the uh, prison is is more or less re revenge paid, revenge paid, uh, less punishment paid, but and more. Um, what what the fuck is the word? More we we help more uh, more aims towards we rehab, rehab, rehabilitation, right? So really, the length of the sentence is and it's and this partially based on uh, how much time is believed the believed the culprit needs to for rehabilita rehabilita rehabilitation. Goodness sake, that word is hard to say. So sure, being able, showing remorse might certainly influence the judge on how in how much how much time they think you you should need to serve in order to properly re re in the word, <laughs> but it's not a direct legal factor that there. That, that I'm being it a lot, aren't I? That person is very important, isn't he, Mr. Edgeworth? It's all right. Let's just give up. Surely you. I must have killed her. I can't even remember it. I can even remember it. Don't be tied down by your own muddled memories. If you want to believe in something, believe in my memories of you is the line. Believe in your own innocence. Believe in me who believes in you. I kind of got it. It sounds pretty familiar. Believe in me who believes in you. From that almost makes me think of Naruto somehow, but probably because of <laughs> the words believe. Um, be 
believe in the believe in the me that believes in you. That's definitely a line I've heard somewhere. Paraphrasing, of course. But, but. My opponent is the POC chairman. Taking him down won't be easy. However, he has underestimated me. If I can take a, get, get, take advantage of that. I understand you how. Okay, I'm going for quite a while about the most trivial details, you know. Hold it. Health, health. If these trivial details create contradictions in the case, we cannot call it the truth. It's fine, as long as the rest of, the rest of the case makes sense, you know. In every case, it's going to have a small contradiction or two, you see. But if we get bogged down by the details, we won't be able to ice the criminal. Well, it could go on forever, you see. You have found people should understand, you know. I don't. That's why I'm asking you. Um, did he play a part in getting the three-day three sentence thing? I can't remember if I said this out loud or not, but... I'm pretty much willing to bet that Von Karma would have played a part in getting the... three-day limit for cases. Just because uh, that would e obviously make it easier for him to get more wins in a <laughs> per month. Would look better on his record. Backing those numbers up. I don't, that's why I'm asking you. Here's the that this piece of oil, oh, right? Goodness. Oh, young, oh, young, fuck these days. <laughs> and the rest of everyone be about stuff. What the location of the murder and, and the order of the bones and oh, what else was there? My voice might be changing, I know it does. <laughs> the order of the report and the questions about the conductor. Very infant listening. Talk is cheap, you know. I was listening, you see, but I didn't think much of it, you know. You didn't think of much of it, even as I brought up all those issues. Perhaps your judgment needs to be questioned, rather than my ability as a prosecutor. <laughs> That's a good one, it's worth. But you see... It's looking fresh. I can't... <laughs> my mouth doesn't bend like... It just doesn't matter, you know. What you see? Not that means anything, you know. How can you say it doesn't matter? Are you trying to suppress the truth? Well, you see, it seems it doesn't matter as much as you say it does, you know. You see, it's worth you want to say it must manage to what we the real issue here. I do wanna know what what the, what his speech pattern was in Japanese. If he, if he keeps saying you see and you know. Think about it. We could just suspect yourself since you killed the victim. I got suspect some trouble. There's more from the room to it. It may be true that she confessed, however, that does not make it the truth. She's suffering from a memory loss, so we must question the credibility of her testimony. Objection. Oh. <laughs> Objection. Even if you say that, you know, it's not one solve this what good will it do to deny her confession? Sounds like nonsense to me. <laughs> when I try to ask her again, I think it's just saying that she's the murderer again. Duh. Very well, let's try asking her again one last time. I'd like to hear from Kay herself, whether or not she's the, she's the culprit. Ah, huh? From me? Will that be all right? If this goes poorly, it'll be gone. It will be quite unfavorable for you. I do not mind, however, I shall ask Kate the question myself. I'm a... I'm a... I'm a... I'm a... <laughs> I'm a little tears, you know. Oh, how touching, you know. How very touching. <laughs> Fine then, I'll let you ask her. However, I have one condition. If all this proves to be a waste of time. And that's really the end of it. Or oh, that's done. Or oh, that's done. The end of the hearing? Yes, yes. It seems like a bit too much for one. Once in a while, Sebastian. In other words, you see, if she confesses again, Gay Friday will be found beyond a shadow of doubt. Guilty. Yep, it's a foreign idea. 
King of Limpy on the channel for doubt. Yeah, that's right. That's harsh, but either way, if I do not, she'll be declared guilty. It was don't play these fucking games. Okay. Yeah, yes. I know but I know what more when I'm asking you to is unreasonable, but please, I want you to answer me. It doesn't matter how tiny it is, do you do you remember anything? Anything that would prove your innocence? Why? Why would you go so that far from me? I... I can't do it. I'm sorry. I'm too scared to remember. Because I might have done something even worse. If that were the case, I would only make things worse for you, Mr. Edgeworth. Kay Faraday must have been a despicable criminal. Someone who betrayed your trust. Don't worry. We've only known each other for a short while. But I know you very well. I'd say that I know you better than it that I know you better than it yourself now that you've lost your memories. You cannot possibly be the culprit because your true identity is <laughs> all of the hell. Oh boy. Sure this can be this. The sound of I have always meant to wait for a moment. I mean I'm sure it's gonna be there. We just gotta you have to pop 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 what I click. Um click on the next fine, sure. Sure this can be there because you got the cover soon. Take that Okay, it did go quite why. The great thief Yadakarasu. The Yadakarasu is a notable thief who would never stoop to murder. Now it's useless. After all, no matter what, that memory still remains. This image that's stuck on my head, I just can't get rid of it. I just can't. That means I must have. Hold it. There's no clear evidence to prove that you are the culprit. Oops, Daisy. Well, remember what, remember what you said. You must believe in yourself. Or perhaps you cannot trust my words. No, that's not it. It's because you are trying to save someone like, like me. You've already lost so much. All for my sake. I can't bear it anymore. Please. Please just give up. I see now. I thought it was strange. The reason you were acting like you wanted to be found guilty. I thought you already established this. Was because you were concerned about me. That is just like you, Kane. I thought we already established this. It's because you're a good person, Mr. Edgeworth. Unfortunately, I may fall short of your expectations. I'm not trying to be a good person. No matter how much you may want me to give up, I'll keep trying to save you. That is the nature of who I am. Whether or not it's a burden of them for you is none of my concern. Okay, believe in, believe in yourself once more. You are no, you are a noble great thief. What you should be doubting is your memory of coming, committing the murder. That is my wish above all else. Please, please. I... Ah! Ah. Okay. What is it? Do you, do you remember something? If you remember something, no. <laughs> It'd be like a bad movie. Pull. Excuse my ass. I, I, the doll. Pull. You know, uh, Sebastian has kind of bullish hair. And then there's that, there's that fucking kid with the horns. What, what, what's their deal? Prosecutor Edgeworth, please ask her to clarify. <laughs> um, oh, well, okay. What do you mean by pool? I, I remember now. The person in the red raincoat had that with her. The stuffed pool doll. I'm certain of it. The, the thing that's back in the pit. 
Yes. Okay, so what? Is that your defendant? Yes, yes, your honor. Yes, your honor. The court hereby accepts the defendant's statement as a new piece of testimony. Yes, yes. Alright, we can measure around quickly. A testament like that cannot be accepted at all. Your objection, objection has been noted, sir. However, the estimate about the victim's belongings. Has been lacking up until now. Objection. Never rush, you know. Our victim memories cannot be trusted, you know. Her memories are vague. That would be bad for us as well. Didn't you say this earlier yourself, Mr. Chairman? Since we have the suspect's confession, we don't need to worry about the trivial details. If we decide to doubt her memories, then they must also doubt her confession, which is the main foundation of our case of fuck what the hell. This just is like... Uh, uh, moment, please, I have something in my finger. 